Hi all. In this uh, presentation, we're going to explain the mechanical actions or the forces. The first objective we're going to talk about is to know that the force represents a mechanical action exerted by a body on another. The second objective is to name the mechanical effect of a force. We're going to know how to measure force by spring balance, and we're going to represent force by a vector. First, what is a force? A force is a mechanical action exerted by an object on another. As in the first uh, diagram, the kid is pushing the box. The second one is pulling with it with a rope. The girl is carrying a box. And the kid, the other kid, is dragging the trash bag. There are many forces in our daily life. Uh, say the magnetic force, the normal force, the normal force holding object, the weight as in the apple for Newton, the tension of the rope, and the friction, which is the uh, force of the rough surface. Also, we can uh, talk about the muscular force. For our, our muscles, we can push or pull things off. Now, um, a force is a push or a pull. You can uh, push or uh, you can move a stationary object you can stop a moving object by a force, you can change the direction of the object, and you can change the speed of an object using the force. How can we measure the force? We can measure a force using a spring balance, which is called the dynamometer. The force can be measured by the reading of the spring balance and multiplying it with the given scale, as in the following diagram. We can see that the cursor the slash is pointed towards the number 3, and the scale is times 10 newtons. So the force here is 3 times 10, which is 30 newtons. Now, the force as a vector. The force can be represented by a vector. What is, what is a vector? It's a quantity that have a direction as well as magnitude, as in this example. The blue lady is pushing the man to the right. So it, uh, she is exerting a right force. So her force is, has direction, while the green lady is pushing the man to the left. So the force exerted by the green lady is, has direction, which is directed to the left. So the force has direction as well as magnitude. Magnitude is the strength of the force. So as we increase the strength of the force, we are increasing the uh, length of the drawn vector. So let's take an example. Let's draw a force of magnitude 20 newtons directed to the right. Now, take the scale, each 1 centimeter equals to 10 newtons. So we're going to represent the force on the paper or on the screen of the computer. So, the scale, each one centimeter on the computer or on the paper, represents 10 newtons in real life. So, 20 newtons, of course, it's about 2 centimeters. So, uh, mathematically, it's written, each one centimeter represents 10 newtons. So, what, do, what does 20 newtons rep uh, have uh, as length? We multiply, we make cross multiplication, 20 times 1 centimeter divided by 10 newtons. So it is, of course, 2 centimeters. Now, to draw the force, we uh, use the ruler and the pen. We make 5, 2, oh, oh I'm sorry, it's 2 centimeters, not 5 centimeters. <laughs> okay, so we make uh, the length of the force and we draw it. Now, try it yourself. It's easy. Draw a force directed downwards now and has magnitude of 250 newtons. Take scale each 1 centimeter, which is 100 newtons. Each 1 centimeter equals 100 newtons. You can calculate it. Um, I help you. It will be 2.5 centimeters. It's a piece of a cake. Thank you for, thank you for watching.